The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou is a 2004 American comedy drama film directed, co written, and co produced by Wes Anderson. It is Anderson's fourth feature length film and was released in the United States on December 25, 2004. It was written by Anderson and Noah Baumbach and was filmed in and around Naples, Ponza, and the Italian Riviera. The film stars Bill Murray as the eponymous Steve Zissou, an eccentric oceanographer who sets out to exact revenge on the Jaguar shark that ate his partner Esteban. Zissou is both a parody of and homage to French diving pioneer Jacques Cousteau 1910 -1997, to whom the film is dedicated. Kate Blanchett, Willem Dafoe, Michael Gambon, Jeff Goldblum, Angelica Houston, Owen Wilson, S.E.U. Jorge, and Bud Court are also featured in the film. The film was released to mixed reviews and was a box office flop. Since release, it has garnered a cult following, and is now viewed more positively by critics. Topic. Plot While oceanographer Steve Zissou is working on his latest documentary at sea, his best friend and chief diver, Esteban du Plantier, is eaten by a creature Zissou describes as a «jaguar shark». For his next project, Zissou is determined to document the shark's destruction. The crew aboard Zissou's aging research vessel Bellafont includes his estranged wife Eleanor, chief strategist and financial backer, Pele dos Santos, a safety expert and Brazilian guitarist who sings David Bowie songs in Portuguese, and Klaus Daimler, the German first mate who views Zissou and Esteban as father figures. Minor crew members include Vikram Ray, cameraman, Bobby Agata, Frogman, Vladimir Wolodarsky, physicist and soundtrack composer, Renzo Pietro, sound man, and Anne-Marie Sakowitz, script girl. Also included is a recent group of unpaid interns from the University of North Alaska. However, the Team Zisu venture has hit a decline, they have not released a successful documentary in nine years. Ned Plimpton is a longtime Zisu fan whose mother has recently died, and he believes that Zisu is his father. After they meet at Zisu's latest premiere, Ned takes leave from his job as an airline pilot in Kentucky to join his crew. As Osiri Draculias, Zisu's producer, cannot find anyone to finance their latest documentary, Ned offers his inheritance. Eleanor feels her husband is taking advantage of Ned and leaves. A pregnant reporter, Jane Winslet Richardson, comes to chronicle the voyage. Both Ned and Zisu are infatuated with Jane, and a rivalry develops between them. Klaus becomes envious of the attention Zisu pays to Ned. On their mission to find the Jaguar shark, the Bellafont steals tracking equipment from a remote station owned by Alastair Hennessy, a more successful oceanographer and Zisu's nemesis. They then sail into unprotected waters and are attacked by Filipino pirates, who steal Ned's money and kidnap Bill Ubel, a Bond Company stooge, assigned to the project. They are then rescued by Hennessy and towed to Port au Patois. Sakowitz, along with all but one of the interns, jump ship once they reach port. Zisu convinces Eleanor to rejoin the Bellafont, and then leads the crew on a rescue mission. They track Bill to an abandoned hotel on a remote island, saving him along with Hennessy, whom the pirates have also kidnapped. Ned and Zisu then make one last search for the shark in the ship's helicopter, but the aircraft malfunctions and they crash. Ned dies from his injuries and is buried at sea. Prior to Ned's death, Eleanor revealed to Jane that Zisu is sterile, therefore Ned could not have been his son. Zisu finally tracks down the shark in a submersible but he decides not to kill it, both because of its beauty and not having any more dynamite. At the premiere of the finished documentary which is dedicated to Ned, Zisu receives a standing ovation while waiting outside the theater for the premiere to finish. The crew returns triumphantly to the ship the next day. <laughs> Topic. Cast Bill Murray as Steve Zissou Owen Wilson as Edward Ned Plimpton, Kingsley Zissou Kate Blanchett as Jane Winslet Richardson Angelica Houston as Eleanor Zissou Willem Dafoe as Klaus Daimler Jeff Goldblum as Alastair Hennessy Michael Gambon as Osiri Draculias Bud Court as Bill Ubel Bond Company Stooge Noah Taylor as Vladimir Wolodarsky Seu Jorge as Pele dos Santos Robin Cohen as Anne-Marie Sakowitz Waris Aluwalia as Vikram Ray Niels Koizumi as Bobby Agata Pavel Wadarchak as Renzo Pietro Matthew Gray Gubler as Nico, intern number one Antonio Monda as himself Isabella Blow as Antonia Cook 
Seymour Castle as Esteban du Plantier. Topic Production. Topic Literary Inspiration. Though the characters were inspired by such American novels as The Great Gatsby and The Magnificent Ambersons, the plot has been compared to Moby Dick, writing about the metaphorical aspects of the film's setting. Somewhere in the Mediterranean, film critic Elena Past says that the underwater scenes, because they are central to the storyline, make the life aquatic similar in some ways to Respiro. Both films set out a Mediterranean state of being. Where, having left the security of land, the characters in both films are suddenly confronted with the precarious nature of human existence, as the films that depict them tackle the challenges of representing the submarine world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music. The soundtrack to The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou contains a style typical of other Wes Anderson films. Mark Mothersbaugh, a member of Devo, composed the score, as he has for many of Anderson's other films. The film also features many rock songs from the 1960s to 1980s, and several instrumental pieces composed by Sven Libak for the underwater documentary television series Inner Space. Additionally, the film and soundtrack feature Seu Jorge performing David Bowie songs in Portuguese on the acoustic guitar. Jorge, who also plays the character of Pele dos Santos, performs some of these cover songs live, in character during the film, mostly with modified lyrics reflecting Jorge's own experiences working on the film. The ending scene depicting the beauty of the shark features the song, Starrelfure, by Sega Ross. The Life Aquatic is Anderson's first film not to feature a Rolling Stones song. Reception. Topic. Box office The film grossed a total of $24,020,403 domestically after 12 weeks in release, less than half its $50 million production budget. It took in a further $10,788,000 internationally, bringing the total gross to $34,808,403. Critical response Initial reviews of the film were mixed. The film has a 56% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, based on 213 reviews, with an average rating of 6.1.10. The website's consensus states, Much like the titular oceanographer, the life aquatic with Steve Zissou's overt irony may come off as smug and artificial, but for fans of Wes Anderson's unique brand of whimsy, it might be worth the dive. The film has a 62-100th weighted average score on Metacritic, indicating generally favorable reviews. Anthony Lane, a film reviewer for The New Yorker, agreed with the conventional criticism of Anderson's deadpan style, that the underreaction of Anderson's characters used to be hip, but has now become frozen into a mannerism. He said that some stretches of action in the film are being lightly held within quotation marks, with an unmistakable air of playacting in even the most violent scenes. He also criticized the film's deliberately weird setups, which leave the viewer with the impression of having nearly drowned in some secret and melancholy game. In the years since its initial release it has developed a cult following, and it underwent a critical revaluation. Many critics view it more favorably, and some, such as Mike D'Angelo of the AV Club, consider the film to still be undervalued when compared to the rest of Anderson's filmography. Topic. Accolades Topic. Home media Two home video formats of the film were released on DVD in May 10, 2005, a one-disc version and a two-disc version, both as part of the Criterion Collection. This is Anderson's third film to be released in the collection, after Rushmore and the Royal Tenenbaums. The Criterion Blu-ray was released on May 27, 2014. Topic: References in the culture. Mexican rock band Belafonte Sensational take their name inspired in this movie. Topic.
Topic. See also. Shash Walvispy, the ship used as the R. V. Belafonte.